Today we're going back to our roots and we're going to be watching a lovely little romantic drama featuring none other than the Miley Cyrus. Today we're going to be watching the last song. I haven't watched this movie in such a long time, but I have been fiending for something romantic. I've been fiending for some angst. I've been also fiending for something that features like a really dramatic celebrity couple. And this movie just hits all the right spots. This is a Nicholas Sparks movie adaptation. It is one of the greatest films I've ever watched in my entire life. And I cannot wait to revisit it with you guys. Today, we're going to be watching the last song. But very quickly before we get into this video, I've noticed a lot of you guys are watching without subscribing. So make sure you guys subscribe because it's just better if you guys get notified when I post a video than checking every single time because I know you guys be checking. I know you guys go to my page, you search up Trend Level and you check if I post a new video instead of just subscribing. So just subscribe and then you'll know it'll be right in your inbox. So subscribe. Right now, I'm watching. I'm watching you. Thank you. The first time I ever watched this movie, it was, it was a nice, crisp summer day. I had just got out in the pool. It was on like ABC Family or something. And I remember I was like watching it and I was like falling in and out of sleep because I had just gotten out of the pool. I was like sun kissed. It was like, when I first watched, I remember I didn't like it. And then I revisited when I was older and I was absolutely in love with it. But this movie reminds me of summer. It reminds me of like falling asleep after taking a big dip in the pool. I, and then that's the same thing with The Notebook. All Nicholas Sparks movie have that like summer vibe to me, which is like obviously on purpose. It's like summer romance, summer flings. But it, it, I also only watch those movies within the summer, not because that's when they came out, but that's just because that's when I watched it. Everybody wants to watch a summer romance in summer. This guy loves playing like a <laughs> weird father figure. Like he can never be like a happy married man in a movie. He's always divorced and like heavily divorced. Like it's bad, it's bad. Ugh, Miley, Miley, why did you leave acting? Like, this was her prime time of acting and she should have been cast, like she should have been every in every movie. Every teen movie, she should have been the main character, the MC, if you will. She should have been it. Cause this, LOL, so undercover. You are everything and she needed to be cast in more things. And I know she probably didn't want to be typecasted as like main character girl, but I wanted you to be typecasted as main character girl. I needed that. Me personally, growing up, I wanted you to be the angry teen girl in every single movie. The way they gave it to her half empty, did you guys see that? Or was that just me? It was literally half empty when they gave it to her. I, I hate to say that was kind of on her fault. Why would you tip it towards you? I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. I don't like Liam Hemsworth in real life. I don't know why I don't like him in real life. There's something off about him. Him in this movie though, oh my God. Oh my God. Love, love. Like, cause this was like one of the first movies I watched where it was like kind of a more like, not that he's like super manly in here. Like now that I watch it back, I'm like, that's literally a boy. But like he was more manly than like, the, the the main character boys that I had been watching, you know? Like he was just a little bit more muscular and he was a little bit older and he just had a more mature look. And I think this came after, I don't know if this came out before or after The Hungry I think it came out before, cause I think this came out in 2011 and, two, and Hungry Games came out in 2012. And don't get me started on him in The Hunger Games, but him in this movie was, he could have had it all. He could have had it all and he fumbled. I don't know why every single male star of this time was like so against rom-coms. I mean, I know why they were against being in rom romantic movies, but I hated it because they could have had such a long career of being this heartthrob and they just so quickly went to superhero movies. Not that Gail or <laughs> not that Liam Hemsworth went to superhero movies, but he, I think he went into like action. And it's just like, you could have made your career a lot better if you like went to romantic leads. Okay, come with me. There's some cooler places. Let's go. She has been at 
the beach for this long with a stained shirt. It's nighttime. Nighttime and she's still covered in milkshake. Just go home. Literally just go home. Why are you staying there? Oh my God, a fireball. Oh my God, Marcus. I love it how like proud she is of her man. Like that's him juggling the balls. My boy band man and his juggling fireballs and his little fedora. That's Marcus. Like I love it. Like get you a girl that's proud of her man like that. Like, cause that is true pride. I've never seen someone to be so proud of someone juggling fireballs. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, there's nothing more than I love. There's nothing more than I love than grungy girl meets like prep boy. Like, oh my God, that is scrum That is, There's nothing more than I love than that. I eat it up. I eat it up every single day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I remember this movie being really sad at the end, but like right now I don't remember at all why it's sad at the end. I can't remember what the sad ending is at all. It's something with the dad. I have no idea what it has to do with the dad. I know there's sea turtles. I know there's sea turtles for sure in this movie. Are you going to play? Because if you are, I'm sleeping outside. God, you can't help but hate her. She's that good. Miley Cyrus is always just so dramatic with her like her body language and it is, it is almost like addicting when you see it on screen like she's always doing the most with her body like look at her like she's always doing the most but I love it like I know it is over dramatic and I know like she does not move like that in real life but I love it I love it it just makes her Miley like it just makes her so unique to herself oh hey Veronica, no, Ronnie, it's fantastic. I like it. You're overreacting. Yeah, way to make the most unlikable, <laughs> way to make the most unlikable main character ever to exist. Just way to make her just like awful. Just like bottom of the barrel loser. Like even though I know what had happened and like the things that she's mad about, I'm still like, L loser. You're being like so loser behavior, like full on hater. Biggest hater ever. She hates her dad. And I understand why, but also when watching it, I'm just like, you're just a freaking hater. Nice look. I almost didn't recognize you with your shirt on. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was stupid. He is really charming in this movie, which is so funny that he's so unlikable within The Hunger Games. And the thing is, is that I don't think he's supposed to be unlikable in The Hunger Games. Like Gail, it's supposed to be a good character within the Hunger Games up until what he does. He's supposed to be like this torn, like partner between, you know, Peta and Gale. But like, he is so charming within this movie. And then in literally the Hunger Games, he's literally not. What are you talking about? I love him, okay? So stay away. Oh I'm my God. Dangerous. You're Marcus. lying, I watched you flirt with him. I know you want my freaking fedora wearing, vest wearing, fire throwing boyfriend. I freaking know you want that man so bad. That's always so funny is like when someone's like, I know you want my man and it's literally the loser, biggest loser ever. I know you freaking want my magician, just say that. I know you want him and I want him too. I freaking love that magician. Why does he look like that? <laughs> He looks so funny. <laughs> I don't like that man. I don't have a reason for not liking Liam Hemsworth. I don't know what he did necessarily. I'm not hitting on you. Seriously, I'm engaged to be married. <laughs> He's like so not funny, but he is. <laughs> He's so not funny, but he like actually is. He's actually the greatest man I've ever known. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. But honestly, if someone did this to me, like the way he's doing it is so perfectly like calculated because he like flirts with her, like not too much in public. And this is the perfect segue. They're freaking sharing a blanket, a blanket and watching freaking sea turtles to make sure raccoons don't get them. 
Talk about charm. Talk about charm and like the perfect plan to get a woman. Cause that would work on me. Dude, Miley Cyrus's body language was something that every little girl tried to do. Like the hand and mouth, like the little, like the bang covering, like the like little stare. Like this was all of us, like in normal like scenarios within life being like, oh my God, like that is my bae. Like it is so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. You read Tolstoy, you take up arms to defend innocent sea turtles. The ice cube bag's not working. Let's try it again. The fact that that worked. The fact that that worked. Come on, Ronnie. We should hate men. Uh. Yeah, I can understand why they would have fallen in love on the set. I can understand why you would like literally develop the biggest, fattest crush ever on this set of this movie. There's no way I couldn't. She's so silly and goofy for not realizing that. <laughs> She's crazy. Like, she, like, is so goofy for not realizing that, that he was gonna pull her in. Oh my god, I know I'm literally making fun of it right now, but oh, I wish someone would do that to me. I wish that were me. You wish that were you, huh? Yes, I do wish that were me. Wanna grab me a water? Fine. He already freaking kissed her on the cheek. He already freaking kissed her on the cheek. Let me guess, he took you to the aquarium and did his whole underwater fishman show for you. Were you impressed? Honestly, the recreating like certain good dates does not bother me at all because I do the same thing. Like if I have a good date, but the person is not right, I'll recreate that date no freaking problem with someone else that I do like. <laughs> like I have no shame because like, it's not the date idea's fault, it's the person. It's obviously not my fault. Why would it be my fault? It's obviously the other person. Is everything okay? She is so dramatic. Like Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus has never played like a chill character. Like she's always so dramatic. You need to leave Will, you're freaking out my little brother. I'll tell you, tell me what happened. I would tell him. He's so cute in this movie, in this movie specifically and only in this movie, leave me alone. He also does look better with brown hair, but I digress. The next girl in your little parade of girls, Will. <laughs> the next girl in your like parade of girls, Will. Not the best written line. I can't say that that is. Okay, I went out with other girls before I met you. She's so me. She is so me. This is not my fault. It's oh my god. <laughs> you wish that were you, huh? I wish that were freaking me. Guys! Dude, I freaking love this movie. I love that kiss. I think it's so, it's so powerful. <laughs> it's so powerful, the power of love. But also she is me in a sense of her being like, I cannot believe you have talked to other girls before you met me. I cannot believe you kissed another girl before you met me. That is actually so ridiculous and I don't stand for it at all. She is as crazy as I am. I don't even wanna freaking look at it. I hate seeing happy couples. I hate seeing happy couples. I don't wish them happiness at all. I shouldn't say that because they actually did get divorced in real life and I shouldn't wish harm on people. I am actually the worst person ever because I'm watching this and being like, oh yeah, they're so cute. Like they literally divorced in real life. And if I saw someone making a video about how cute me and my ex were and like the, the set that we met, I would actually die. I'm so sorry, Miley Cyrus, and this is a formal apology, but also I do love this movie and I'm not gonna stop loving this movie because it's a part of my childhood and I really um, hold nostalgia within it. Um, and it is a really good romantic movie, so. In terms of Nicholas Sparks movies, it's really up there for me. The last song is like right below A Walk to Remember for me. It's like a walk to remember the last song. Dear John is pretty good. I don't really like the notebook, so don't don't even talk to me about the notebook. I won't be watching it. I've already done that. I've been there, done that. Yeah, wow. You can really sing. Yeah, she's freaking Miley Cyrus. She's a beautiful, beautiful singer, and she's actually lives a double life, actually. Now that you mention it, should, is there anything else I should know about you? She lives a double freaking life. Anymore. Also, this is the same truck from Twilight, and you cannot tell me I'm wrong. That's the same truck from Twilight. They literally stole it from the set. <laughs> They're the reason why. They're the reason why I want this exact scenario to happen to me. Oh my God. If I fell in front of my girlfriend like that, I'd be so freaking embarrassed. If I saw my boyfriend fall, 
into the mud like that, like face first, I would get, mm, I can't control it. That would make me a little bit like, that would make me cringe a little bit. Here, do my hair. She does have such a contagious laugh and. Here, turn around. I would not, yeah, I would totally fall in love with him too. That man is so fine and like, he's so gentlemanly and like, he, I would want him to wash the mud out of my hair too. I mean, can you not see that? My parents were holding on by a thread. Perfect. Nothing's well, been perfect to my family for a long time. She really is crazy. I'm sorry, like, I love her and I am her. Like, I am just as crazy as she is. But like, also she is so pigeonholed into her own life. But also, like, there's nothing better than going over to rich people and saying that they have no problems. I would do that, too. No one has made me feel like you do, Ronnie. I don't want to lose you. I do think Nicholas Sparks can, like, recycle a lot of his, like, tropes. Like, I think in Endless Love, I think her brother dies in there as well. And she's rich and her she has like a brother that dies. And then like the boys like kind of more like grunge and like from the wrong side of the track sort of thing. Wait, I don't even think Endless Love is Nicholas Sparks. I don't even know why I said that. I'm literally, I just, I just literally shot on Nicholas Sparks for no reason. But it always is like, they don't have a good relationship with their parents and someone's sibling dies and, and that's why they don't want to lose anyone. And it's all very like, it's sad, but like inevitable. You know, when like Miley Cyrus like stepped on the set and like she got to play a freaking song, she knew she was about to go like boss mode on him. This is kind of like Twilight if you think about it. And aside from like the truck, but He's Bella and she's Edward. Well, a little, but... Love this, Ronnie. Dude, he's the best freaking dad in every single movie. Like, he's the worst dad in every single movie, but he also is like the best dad as well. He just loves them so much. He just loves them so much and he wants to care for his daughter. Like. And he wants them to pursue their passions and he like cares about them, but he also like makes so many mistakes But that's what makes him such a great character is because he's like also flawed. He's a flawed parent as all parents are <laughs> I love him Hey, Jonah. Hi. That's kind of badass though If the if the, if the if the arse cool, if, huh? if setting hey, a building on fire and like no one kill it didn't kill anyone then like it's I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. That shouldn't be said out loud. I might have been a little confused. I, I, I was taking some medicine that my doctor had given me. That medicine? Was a, what me, doctor? Ronnie, what it's, medicine? It's okay. That's what the sad part is. I just remembered the sad part right when he said that. Oh my god, yeah, he's dying. <laughs> He's dying! Oh my god. That stance is so crazy. Like, why is she sitting? Like, she's literally with her BF and she's like slumped on the side. Like, we get it. You're sad. You don't have to be in that position. We get it. We get it. Ronnie. Why do they give her that confused face every single time she's revealed? Like, she, she is smiling so bright right there, but her reveal of her face was like, like, it was like the most confused face I've ever seen. When she has this like gorgeous smile, like make the like, make it a little bit more like elegant, but they make her have like a, huh? At every turn, I'm sick. Don't do that to Miley. You can just leave. Yes. Marcus, we're done. Look, look. I got your nose. He's always in a vest. I, I like why did why was that the wardrobe done. for him? When I say we're done. Vest Marcus. on vest on vest. Oh, Get your truck. Huh? How about now? All right, man. Huh, man? Right. Huh? I would actually die if he brought out his fireballs from like the very beginning. Like that would be so funny. Have around for the summer. Huh, William? Yeah. Yeah, huh? The way no one else is helping him. Like you guys have so many people on your side and you're like not helping this 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 boy. The fact that she's crying. 
Your son just like literally saved everyone. It's clear out. It's like your son was a hero. He was a hero of the day and you literally are like the I am so stupid and I shouldn't say this, but like in this dress, she's so in her like speak now era. Like actually, I'm not kidding. Admit. <laughs> Love you. Sweet. I'm gonna cry actually. This is not fair. Cause I forgot about this. Like I knew like there was something wrong with him, but I, I forgot how sad this like movie actually is. I don't want to watch it anymore. I don't want to be here. <laughs> actually, I don't want to be here anymore. Actually, I'm actually done. I'm actually done with the movie. <laughs> I'm done with it. I know I'm making jokes, but this is actually a really sad movie and it actually um, has made me cry multiple times. No, dang it. No, I can't, I can't reach things and I need to finish this so dad will get better. No, I can't reach things without my dad. Will you show us? Can we reach things without him? Uh, it's sad. It really is. Fuck this little kid because he's a really good actor. I want to be funny and I want to be like, ha ha, but I can't because he's like freaking making me sad. I'm like, I hate you. I'm like becoming a, a character within the movie. I'm like, I hate you. Why would you lie to us? Why would you lie to me? No. Oh. I'm not gonna stand to be near you. Please stop. Don't no. touch me. Will! Don't touch me. You're a coward, Will. And you're a coward and you're a liar. You're a coward and you're a liar. I just wanna like, I just wanna like emulate her. Don't call me. We're done. She, I love her. Go. Go. Would you forgive him? <laughs> Comment, uh, comment your answer down below. Would you forgive him? Uh, maybe like after my dad like passes, like not before that though. Like, cause like my dad, like that's my dad. This fucking kid. And I mean that with like, I'm, he's just, he's very good. He's very good. I'm not gonna say goodbye because I'm not going anywhere. Okay. This little kid, he just makes me want to fucking cry. He's not allowed to go, he's not allowed to be in movies anymore because if he cries, I'm gonna cry. Like, I'm an empathetic crier for him. If he cries, I'm crying. And I'm like, I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry right now. I like the way my makeup turned out today. Like, I feel like the best solution for that would have been to all stay there together, like, when he goes. You know what I mean? I also wouldn't let my teenage daughter stay and, like, deal with that alone. I absolutely would never do that. I'm so sorry. I don't have too many lectures left on my time card, so I really want you to hear this, okay? That, the fact that that is just a line within this movie is, I don't have that many lectures left within my time card. I hate you, I hate you, and I hate everything you stand for. Ugh. They're gonna bring you joy. Why aren't people making romantic drama films like this anymore? They're not. I say that as like literally like, I think like two or three years ago, Forever My Girl came out, which is the Nicholas Sparks movie. And I didn't watch that shit because it looked fucking bad. Do they hurt dad? Yeah. Liar. He's a freaking fat liar. Cause I know he just wants her to play. You're manipulative. Me just like bragging on this guy when he's dying. I'm like, you're actually manipulative and your hands don't hurt. I know they don't hurt. In terms of a commentary like video, like what am I supposed to say to this? I'm not gonna crack a joke. I mean, I would, but I don't want to. I don't want to. It's a really beautiful scene and it's really sad. And it's like this very emotionally impactful ending to the movie. And I don't want to say anything during it. And this also adds to why I said, like, I don't know why the mom chose to leave because now her daughter has to like live with that, like her dad passed away, like right in front of her and she was alone. <laughs> like, why did they leave? Like, why did they leave? Yeah, not sure it's for me though. What do you mean? Don't look at me like that, Miley. So the girl I love can watch me make a few more mistakes. What do you think about that? 
And we don't need need inspiration. Ah, but it needs. Oh my god, this song is also so freaking good. This freaking movie is so freaking good, and that song is enough to give it a five stars. That song is enough to give it a five stars. I love this movie. It's so freaking sad. One of Nicholas Sparks' best, right below. Um, it's definitely, like, not as sad as A Walk to Remember, but it's, like, pretty sad. Like, it definitely, like... I've cried multiple times while watching this movie. I only teared up a little bit today, but that's because I'm putting on a show, and I have to remember to keep it together. But, uh top tier movie it still freaking holds up all this time later miley cyrus should have they should have taken more of an opportunity to give her a chance with an acting because she was freaking good people like to clown on this movie and say it's like cheesy or whatever it's literally amazing it's romance it's drama it's sad it's heartbreaking and i loved it and that's pretty much all i have to say about it i said everything i needed to say thank you let me know what you guys thought of this movie in the comment section down below. I would love to know if you guys loved this movie just as much as I did when I was younger and just as much as I love it now. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.